What is up, my crazy, beautiful Vedicodians? My name's Vedico, you can call me the and welcome back to Parkasaurus. I, um, I took a small break. By that, I mean I took about 30 to 45 minutes since I last recorded the episode, which has put me at a time disadvantage. Because I have Dungeons and Dragons tonight. And my brain shut off. <laughs> it was just like, bye-bye, night-night. Trying to tell my brain to not go to sleep only an hour after I've been awake is, um, kind of crazy. Um, let me click on this person, please. Thank you. Uh, so that was a, an interesting development. <laughs> right. That was it. We've done all the decorations to an extent. It, the park looks so pretty. It doesn't. It looks like absolute booty cheeks. But, but, there, there's no excuse. <laughs> if you're waiting for an excuse to line up there, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, I'm remembering that we're leaving a segment out for this so that we can have some stuff. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and line this up nicely so. And I think we'll just do it to... I wanted them to go in the enclosure, which they can with this piece. So we could actually have a joining piece over here that will then branch off to a stair. So that is that. This is going to be a hench enclosure. Let's look at the absolute size of this unit, shall we? 4,100 feet. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I won't lie to you. I will not lie to you. Um, but it's still pretty big. Um, and we've got all this space here for activities now. Isn't that great? Um, I want to get on with the series, as I said before. So we're not going to dilly-dally too much. We do kind of have to because I need to get more stuff for the Sarko Sukuses, I believe. I guess I'll find out shortly. And it's just turned night time, which isn't ideal. It is a beach, but if we were to go for some Sarko Sukuses, so I want... Wow, you only need 490. I feel like that's incorrect. I think we're going to go for four, which needs a, quite a bit more on that front. Um, so we, you know... We'll get the stuff, but we're going to have to wait. Um, so in the meantime, we'll just keep doing things like build a path around it and all that good stuff and also i will have to do more lighting yay go me um i've also got this part here that we need to deal with but i'm just gonna deal with the lighting first because i will forget otherwise you know me i know me it's just how i operate on a stupid level um so let's just get the lighting done oh it's gonna end the day shortly so that's not happening thank you Okay, there we go. And we've got this over here, which will have things on it. So we'll go ahead and get some lighting prepped for it, I suppose. Don't know why I rotated, quite frank. There we go. This is actually quite well lit now, which is nice. And it's daytime, which is also very nice because it means I can start building things. I didn't build any seating yet because, to be quite frank, I feel like we may have gone overboard already on the seating front. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. My phone is going crazy. Why is it going crazy the moment I stop taking a break and start recording? Um, it's uh, Schrodinger's vibration, I suppose. Mm. Schrodinger's notification. That that works better. Corey doesn't feel icked by that. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look. Twitter. Okay. Uh, instant. Eh, I'll look later. Okay, I thought I'd put that underneath it then, but no, it just wraps around it perfectly. We got something over here we can do something with uh what at this point are there any fun decorations i feel like would look really fun in here yeah maybe some velociraptor fountains why not you know a couple of them just out of place for no good reason built up in here maybe we'll put something in between it who knows right uh, another one to be safe and then just down like so you're just in a fountain area. Isn't that magical? And uh, maybe we'll put some seating down. <laughs> Back to the magical seating. So we'll just build some seating um, effectively across it. Uh, like that. And then one away. And in fact, that's just... Yeah, this isn't even symmetrical, guys. I, um, I kind of screwed it. But it's fine. I'm not going to look at it too much. Uh, right. Who is sick? And where are you? Oh, let's just save time. We've got too many dinosaurs and too many uh, employees to figure this out. So just scroll down until I see the word sick. Great. It's another Placidus. Um, 
Uh, that's a three. I don't know if that's going to do anything, to be quite frank. So let's just give it to you three times. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the numbers mean. I still don't know what the numbers mean. Forgive me. <laughs> but I feel like giving him three doses of general medication. Absolutely fine. He'll feel better. And he is going to be on cloud nine in terms of highness. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, there we go. Hazel's good. I think that's just days until fully sick, and that's days till full recovery. So I think we're good. Um. So yeah, right. It's daytime. So let's just get some stuff done. Right. First and foremost, let's get the water sorted. So we want normal water. Is you know there's Sarkasukas. They need a, a fair chunk of uh, water. Now the reason I'm doing it really weirdly like this is because I want to try something. So, I have no idea if it will work, but it looks like it's going to. So, um, I need to do this as well, actually. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's a little bit too wide, but that's fine. And then, like so. Just maybe just take this whole line down. We've got an island. <laughs> hey, I'm actually kind of happy. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I don't want it to be square though, so let's just start chipping away the shape of it. There we go. And maybe something over here just to break the shape. Oh, I think I made it a little bit too deep there, so let's control Z the one. Perfect. We have an island. I'm happy. Right, now I'm pretty sure these guys are large, right? They are indeed a medium. I was wrong. So we need to give them a feeder with medium in it, but we're not going to do that just yet because it's going to be a while before we get them. Uh, let's unpause because um, we kind of need the expedition to keep going out. And get a gate on here. suppose um, pausing all that time probably didn't help in terms of getting us towards it, owning some Sarkos. So that's one, that's two. I think we'll go for a manual dig or a couple of manual digs because... Um, I've got enough nearly for two more of the Sarkos in the footprint section, not the skulls. And I think it's the first time I've ever had more footprints than I have the skulls, which is wild. Also concerning that footprints are considered part of a thing that you need to, you know, DNA extraction and all that good stuff. Footprints, as opposed to other parts of the body that's actually parts of the body and not an imprint left by the body. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> And yes, I am addressing this nearly four years on after starting to play this game and never once considering it. Wild, isn't it? <laughs> oh god, I love this game. Hey, the Archelons are getting bigger. And oh my god, their patterns are so vibrant. They're so different to when you were a child. Like little... <gasps> you have Dorito imprints. Oh my goodness. You're so cute. I could eat you. I could eat you. I could eat you. But I won't because I have a soul. Instead, have I got a plastic straw I can throw? No. Uh, I've got some plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. Let's get to the next day just because I want daytime and double speed and also, you know, get there. Disney land is a color and really delight. See, I didn't eat the Archelons, but it seems someone else might be thinking of it. You know? Some Mosasaurus sashimi. A Dunkleosteus steak. A Liapluridon sandwich. Oh, the world is your oyster. Very large, extra large shark fin soup. Oof. Oof, that sounds great, except it doesn't because all it is is a chicken stock that has got cartilage in it from a shark um, which has been very cruelly killed so even that joke on the whole I'll eat them in different ways uh, I don't agree with that one on the sharks and the, throwing the plastic in the ocean and stuff and killing turtles but beside the point shark fin soup is just nothing but cruel for the sake of being cruel now then I have lost my train of thought I'm tired, I'm hungry, I, I need more caffeine, uh, you know, it's a standard day <laughs> in the life of me. It's a very standard day. You are taking your time. I want to get this to level three. Can I charge more now? I can. We're going to charge the full amount to hope that it might deter some people. 
um, so that we can survive the lag for a bit. Right, unautomatic dig. Let's go. Now we wait for that to happen. Because I'm pretty sure now... Oh, my lord. Yes. Uh, how many did we get? So we've got enough of the footprint. We just need loads of skulls. So we need 12 skulls. And we're there. Um, sell sushi. Okay. That's great. I can live with that. No. <laughs> A park or something. No. <laughs> Simple. This is going to be our Sarkosuchus enclosure. Uh, it's got lighting around it. It's got some seating. Um, we do need a donation box or two. That is for certain. Uh, so let's just get on the other side, actually. There we go. Amazing. I can actually think about building the bridge over as well, actually. I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, there we go. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, that will work. I'll be damned. That, that worked. Amazingly. Perfect. Tell you what isn't perfect. Um, that. Okay, we can we can work with this. Because the water just drops it down. So that's a bit of a pain. Because I kind of want it to go onto the island. Um, but that's fine. Um, we're literally just going to warp around the entirety of this. Just because I can. Um, which makes it longer, which I'm sure they absolutely love, our guests, that is. Um, but it's also kind of funny, so I'm I'm not against it. Um, just because I had to go entirely around the water, because it doesn't, like, bring itself up, it drops itself, so it's like, ah, uh, okay. And like so. And now we might have an enclosure here, and up there, so I'm kind of hesitant to give them some more stairs to get off so quickly. But we'll figure it out. For now, that is as it is. We've got to do the decorations in the park, etc, etc. But hey, Moses is hungry. Wait, why have we got a... Why is this not filled? There we go. So why have we got a um, Elasmosaurus called Moses and not a Mosasaurus? Like, one of you should be called Mo, one of you should be called Moses, surely. Salinger? I mean, these are some pretty interesting and unique names. But are they really Mosasaurus names? <laughs> Okay, well, let's have a look at one of our guests' names. They've always got quirky names. Gallus. Balak Six. <laughs> That's what I mean. Ephesra. Are you red? Arika Valax, I guess. That's wild. None of these guys are having fun. <laughs> oh, that is, uh, that is some damage. Why? Are you not happy? What have I done wrong? Toys? There's a toy right there. Why are these all broken? Where am I? Right. Let's hire a newbie. No. Resumes. Janitor. Hire. Cool. You're coming with me, Mr. Janitor. Let me go to our employee view. There you are. We're going to pick you up plop you down over here and then we're going to give you a no can I grab him there is no way for me to grab him I have placed him there we go <laughs> but I, say I placed him in a point of thing station guess where your station is mate you've got it boom now fix oh you're fixing from the right fair enough this entire enclosure is partially broken for no reason. They, they're happy. I'm getting annoyed why they break things when they're happy. But it's fine. Also, for the semi cracks, I could have been using the higher security stuff. Um, it lasts longer and it doesn't break as easy. So that's kind of on me. But hey. Yeah, I need my caffeine. I really need my caffeine. Um... Yeah, so once I've recorded... I was going to try and record three today, I guess. Which I'm still going to try and do. And after the third one, get some months to get ready for D&D. &D. Maybe I'll grab some food as well while I'm out. And then go from there. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm not sure. I'm going to obviously have some uh, British food. Completely unseasoned. Not flavour... No, no, I can't do that. <laughs> 
I'll figure something out for my dinner. Um, I think we've got some chickpeas and all that good stuff in the thing. So I could make like a little jumbo. Like a little jumble. I call it a jumble. It's definitely not jumble, but it's just like grains, chickpeas, and all that good stuff. Maybe throw some tuna in. Or I can make a pasta bake. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Now I'm just thinking about food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh wait, because the dig site's now ready, so why not? Um, I was about to say I've got to wait for the dig site, but then it was ready. Oh, this is everything we need right now. Skulls. Not so much the cash, but there might be something underneath it, so we kind of need to get rid of it on the top level always. Right. Did you look at that? Another skull. Oh, they are being superbly kind to me right now. Right, I think that's everything on this level. That is a skull. Something here as well. That's a footprint, so I'm not too fussed. That is a skull. I think we've got quite a few of them just already. Um, if it keeps it up, we could be in for a adventure here. Right, let's just grab this manually. Just because I need to be able to get this one. There we go. I think I might have gotten the skull amount. I've not been counting. But it's entirely possible at this stage because I've just been finding hundreds of them. I mean, there's still more. I mean, I'm going to keep going until we're done. Also, there's a... Is this the legendary type hat? Yes, it is. Glad I didn't break it. Because there's a chance we get another wizard's hat, which would be amazing. And one here too, actually. Right. I know there's something here and something there. This is a foot. And we're out of view. Nearly out of view. Um, right. There's one here. It's a foot. That's a science. That's a foot. Right, I'm not too fussed then. We'll, we'll send you out for an auto again, just because if I didn't get the amount I needed. One. We, we definitely got the amount we needed. Amazing. Right, so if we want sarcos, they are mediums. They are obviously going to eat meat. So let's just get the stuff down. Let's get the hats. Viking. Damn it, it's another fez. It's so freaking common, those fezes. And yeah, I get them in the legendary pack. Ooh. <laughs> Right, let's get them some feeders. I don't know if they feed from the water. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, so we'll get them a large. It's a medium cut because apparently these guys aren't classed as large, though I would argue they should be. Um, and then we want to get the decorations done in this area. So what do you guys need? I think you need a beach. You do need a beach. Amazing. Let's get that done. First and foremost, let's get you some privacy tiles. Maybe not right next to the feeder, but just a few places, you know? And then a little bit over here. Don't forget that the rocks apparently need water as well, which is wild to me, but here we are. So don't be surprised if the privacy tiles do too, but they don't. Amazing. I put some in the... Oh, no, I, I can't. There we go. Okay, that took a second there. There we go. There we go. A little bit over here just to break up the shape. Right, cool. Right, the rocks apparently need water, so we can't stray too far from that. Um, but we kind of need to just for decoration's sake. Um, so I will put them around. And then I'll um, go for the water afterwards. So just do everything I can, then get the water sorted. And obviously just get some of these in here. Away from the feeder, preferably. There we go. Oh, wow, it floats. <laughs> um, and then we want some trees. And then we'll just go for some flowers like huge. And boom. We need more rocks and more tree uh, bushes. Trees. Bushes. You know what I mean? We only need one more of these. But we need actually quite a lot more rocks, which is wild. Um, so we'll just keep the rocks that we've got over here. And just get another little bit of water over here, I reckon. Oh, we need another bush. Damn it. Um, what are you? Uh, okay, well, we'll get another bush. Something like this. They look like trees. <laughs> there we go. And now we put the more water down. And a feeder, a toy, sorry. So, I don't know, a bone, why not? Uh, go over here, get some water. How does that do? Great. How about here? Great. You're all, no, you're not. 
Now? Now? Yeah. <laughs> so we've got the food in there. We got that. We got all of that good stuff. It is so pretty. You'll notice in all of my builds, I don't mess with terrain. Apart from the fact that terrain gets a bit weird in this game for one. But also Jurassic World Evolution has completely ruined terrain tools for me. I hate them. <laughs> no game can do them well apart from Planet Zoo. So I don't want to touch any game that has them in it. Also, that guy has leveled up again. Amazing. It did that weird thing where it's like, no, you can't look at them. Uh, let's go ahead and get that there. So one, two, three more levels, basically. Amazing. Now, we're just going to do some water digs, but effectively, after the Sarcosuchus, we're done with all the semi-aquatics. We only need to be aiming for... Like the bigger things like Sarbino, I wanted to say Sarcoparco, Spino, whatever. Spinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, stuff like that. Hunger, I guess the privacy could be playing into this. They might not be happy because there's like a large opening space here. But it doesn't really matter much. Look at all of our guests having so much fun. They are actually coming up to here now, which is crazy. Um, considering we didn't have any before. I mean, they're not coming up to here, but... Eh. You win some, you lose some. I mean, if we go over here, you can just see them everywhere. Rightfully so. Now then, I was curious, if you send a guy off to a dig site, do they just leave the park as well? Um, I don't really use my scientists for that, so I can't like ascertain based on who's remaining. So I'll leave it be. <laughs> and just go with the... You know, the imagination and think maybe they do disappear. Uh, we're going to get these guys down. Just because I can. Well, now we have some baby Sarko Sukuses. I think they're happy because I'm pretty sure they have a mate in their enclosure. They need food, of course. They need some toys and so on and so forth. But they've got food over there. So if they make their way over to the food, they'll be fine. And if they make their way to the toys, they'll also be fine. They're currently napping right now in some privacy tiles. See... You know, this is all good. I'm not seeing people walk away once they've started paying, so that's kind of crazy. At, at night, at least. But we have made 31,500. Now, I spent a lot on construction and the portal, and I still made 14,000. I also made 46,000 science, 52 hearts. I can see I've got 693 hearts, 426,000 science. That is nutty. Right, we need to unlock a different one so we can start building up our thing. So, Therapoda. I want both of you guys. We'll get the Spino and the T-Rex uh, unlocked. And then we will go to the portal and go to Therapoda. Mantle automatic dig. Yes, please. I think we got a few things here I can start messing around with. Another legendary hat. Yeah. Nothing of what value. Now, I feel like I would like to see how much I'm worth. So apologies while the mic goes a bit weird while the noise gate kicks in for all the clicking. Um, but just, you know, it won't be too long. Uh, that's a lie. It's going to take forever, especially even on double speed. We're still going to be making so much science as much as I'm burning it. But it, it's not going to take forever. We are now over 1.2 million. 1.3 million. It's like cookie clicker. The more I click, the more money I have. 1.5 million is in sight, and 1.5 million has been passed. 1.6 million has been passed. You're getting the picture. I'm very, very wealthy. <laughs> you know, I, originally I was just science rich, which is basically education rich. And now, if I just quickly just pick up the pace on the clicks, let's see if I can get even faster. 2 million. Come on. Uh, effectively, I've used over half the science I had, and I gained 1.5. 4 million. 5 million, because we're at 2, 1. Um, I think I'm wealthy. <laughs> that is insane. Wait, did you level up while you were in there? My god. Um, I could give you a personality, but I don't want to. Because that would be too funny. Why is my phone going nutty nana? What is happening on Twitter? Just everyone that I follow just tweeting all at once. Great. It's not like a big event or anything. Just everything, everywhere, all at once. Now, the Sarkos will grow over time. So I want to see how big they get and see why they're not classed as large. I mean, I get why those guys are definitely classed as large. I mean, look at the units. But the Sarkos, I feel like they should be getting pretty reasonably sized for being a Sarkosuchus, right? 
Anyway, I think this is a great place to end the video. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do smash the like button down below. If you haven't already subscribed, if you're super duper appreciate it. My name is Vidaka, you can come with me. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and ta -ra.